The deer may not be aware, but the brain worm is currently residing in the deer's subdural space, an area that lies between the brain and the skull. Like many parasites hitching a ride, this parasitic worm has a complex life cycle. First, the worm larvae enter the deer by being eaten. And then their convoluted mission begins. The larvae need to leave the stomach, mature into adults, mate, lay eggs, which will then hatch into larvae. These new larvae need to find their way back to the stomach in order to be expelled so that they can find a brand new snail host in order to keep the cycle going. So, after being eaten by the deer, the parasite larvae make their way through the stomach wall and then migrate through the body by the deer's central nervous system. Once they've reached adulthood, they reproduce and lay their eggs in the thick membrane that surrounds the deer's brain. The eggs then travel via the venous system to the heart and then into the deer's lungs, where they hatch into larvae. From the lungs, these larvae are coughed up into the mouth, swallowed back into the stomach, and eventually excreted as droppings. The parasite then attaches itself to more snails that feast on the dung. And the entire process begins again.